We look back at the life of a music legend, Phil Everly, one half of the Everly Brothers. I need you so that I could die. I love you so. Phil Everly on the left, one half of that legendary duo. Whenever I want you, all I have to do is dream. Was the younger brother hitting the higher notes, a career spanning five decades. Ed Sullivan introducing the brothers in 1957. Here's the story, a song story of little boy and little girl who went to the movies and fell asleep. The Everly Brothers and their newest recording. At the peak of their stardom, they averaged a top 10 hit every four months. Wake up, little Susie, wake up. Wake Up Little Susie was actually banned from many radio stations because of its storyline. Two teens out together at a movie well past midnight. Too suggestive for the times. And here, being introduced by a young Dick Clark on American Bandstand. This one's called Kathy's Clown. Again, the Everly Brothers. believe that song might have sold more than any of their singles, the Beatles early in their career calling themselves the English Everly Brothers. Tonight, so many legendary singers reacting to the loss. Nancy Sinatra tweeting, Phil Everly is gone. Touring with Phil and Don was one of the thrills of my life. Paul Simon saying, Phil and Don were the most beautiful sounding duo I ever heard. Both voices, pristine and soulful, part of the birth of rock and roll. Their music gets even better with time, doesn't it? His wife Patty saying he fought long and hard against a lengthy illness, but that we are absolutely, quote, heartbroken.